What's going on, everybody? Ain't that a pretty sunset? Anyway, this video is kind of gonna suck. I'm just gonna forewarn you. I put this thing in at night, and uh, yeah, the video sucked. Plain and simple. Not gonna lie. So I figured I'd film some of the seat in the daylight so y'all could see it. And uh, I'll put the video up. I gotta put that in my my binder for March. Uh, I'll put the video behind this. And if y'all wanna watch it, y'all can watch it of the install. If not, y'all can watch about the seat and call it a day. Anyway, here's the seat. So I figured I'd kind of give a little overview while there's some daylight. Y'all don't pay attention to the truck. It's kind of a mess in here. Uh, I took all my sheets and stuff out, so I have a bunch of stuff just stacked up right there. Uh, I promise it gets cleaned. Anyway, the uh, Ballstrom Wide Ride Serta. Man, I, I've had this seat now for a week. Yeah, a week. And I have to say, it's the best seat I've set on. Uh, I can spend 11 hours <coughs> in this seat. And I don't, I mean, it's no issues at all. Of course, you get you get a little uncomfortable after a long period of time of sitting in any seat. Get out and stretch. Get back in. Truck on down the road. But you don't, I don't, I don't have any of that, like, sharp pain or anything like that. But anyway, it was simple to put in. The back was a little hard. It was a pain in the butt for me because I don't have much room between here and the and the uh, bed. Uh, but I mean, if you got a full sleeper, it wouldn't be nothing for you because you can get down there and get them, get the uh, the bolts in. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's got uh, your up and down, uh, your lower back, upper back, your side supports, which are right here, and then the butt supports right here it's got a little seat back here you can press and it'll cycle the two seats uh, or the two uh, back supports i guess kind of just to break up the monotony maybe it's not really a massager but uh i don't know i don't ever use that uh it'll slide forward and back pretty freaking far like i can't even slide it far enough forward or all the way forward because my knees and everything will go in the dash. So I would like to uh, reposition the uh, base plate and set it back some more. But it does, uh, it reclines. It's a full recline. Uh, also, it's got a couple knobs here. This one is your, is the uh, lock for the seat kind of sliding forward. I don't remember what they call that, but uh, you could pull the seat forward like this and lock it in and back. This one right here, let's see, this knob right here. Well, you got three different settings where you can raise the front of the seat up. Like that is kind of sitting like more like this, or you can bring it back down and kind of flatten it out. I apologize for these videos. I completely suck at uh, filming, but the other good thing is you can raise it up, the seat up, and get to everything up underneath. Uh, if you have any switches go bad, every everything's easy to get to. Your airlines, everything. Simple. 
My only complaint with this seat is the uh, is the armrest. So when I'm riding, it just I have to I have to move my arm back so far to like make it feel comfortable. Uh, whereas I wish. I wish they come out about an inch and a half, maybe two inches further. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> Michael, please. There he is. Please. There he is. <laughs> come out to about right there. That way, when I'm going down the road, my elbow can rest right there instead of having to finger the steering wheel <laughs> but uh that's really that's really my own, only complaint with this seat is i feel like the armrest could be a, just a hair longer but uh i'm telling you if you're looking for a good seat the uh the ballstrom wide ride with serta is the way to go it's well worth the money you know like i said I needed a seat for, since I bought the truck a year and about four months ago, and uh, just didn't want to come off that $1,400. I was thinking about going like the the Seats Legacy Series, which you could pick up for like 780 bucks. But uh, yeah, I just, I didn't want to come off the money, especially now with fuel prices the way they are. But the old seat breaking i'm telling you was the best thing that ever happened to me this seat is amazing uh, i don't know how else to sell it you know if you're looking for a seat and you need a seat a more comfortable seat this one's the one it's it's real plush compared to like atlas uh sears seats in my opinion now this all this is just my opinion my thoughts of what comfortable is may be completely different from what your thoughts of comfortable but is. Anyway, so, guys, like I said, if, if you want to stick around through the rest of the video, it's poorly shot video at night, late at night at the truck stop, trying to change the seat out. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I was lucky enough that this Ballstrom seat bolted right up to the stock Freightliner base plate. Uh, if you don't have a base plate, you will need to either get a base plate from, I think, Four State sells them. Uh, the Iowa 80 truck stop where I got this from, they also sell them. Uh, they sell base plates for Freightliners, Kenworth, and Peterbilt's, Internationals, the whole nine yards. Uh, I think the guy told me they run, run right about 150 bucks but you'll still if you don't have a base plate you'll still have to bolt the base plate through the floor right and then the seat will screw into the base plate the base plate holes are threaded already so all you need is a bolt to bolt the seat down with uh anyway let's get to the video we'll holler at y'all later what's going on everybody let's swap a seat out in the dark so, I got the front two bolts out. I have this adapter plate. I don't know if that adapter plate's gonna work with the Ballstrom. Uh, if nothing else, I could take the, the bolts out of the, the adapter plate. And I could either drill straight through the floor or I could possibly drill new holes, but I would have to install the adapter plate outside because uh, I'd, I'd need nuts also but hopefully 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 it works but anyway we're gonna get this out and then uh, hopefully get this seat swapped out Alrighty, seats loose. I need to drain the air tanks. 
disconnect the airline pull this out and I'm gonna clean all this up uh, I got my hand wipes so I'm gonna wipe all this down since it's out and then we'll get the box that's strapped to the back of my step deck and uh, we'll get it installed so All right, well, the air is pretty much out. Yep, there we go. Let all the air out of here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh man, this thing's a little heavy. All right, I'm gonna get all this cleaned up. Push these tools over here. Move these over here. It has a lot of holes in it, so uh, maybe, 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 maybe. I have a feeling I'm gonna be drilling holes. Unless the sco seat scoots back further. Have a feeling. The seat feels so good. Oh yeah. I think this is gonna work, guys. I like this. Now we just gotta see if the holes in the back line up. Hopefully they do. <sighs> the only thing that sucks about having such a little cab is it's hard to get in here i need to i need to lay down so i can see up underneath here and that's not happening or maybe that's what sucks about being so big let me figure this out i'll get back with you